let let the selling price of the egg let the selling price of one egg let's call the selling price x let's call the selling price of one egg x dollars all right and let the cost price of one egg be equal to let's call it y dollars so the cost price of one egg is y dollar and the selling price is x dollars now look at this it told us that the selling price of 12 eggs so we want to find the selling price of 12 eggs so we can write down that the total price of 12 eggs the total selling price is going to be equal to we bought 12 eggs so it's going to be 12 times how much you're selling one egg for x dollars so the total selling price is 12 x all right cool with that now what is the total cost price now the total cost price is equal to how much you're selling how much you bought one egg for we bought one egg for y dollars but we're buying of course 15 eggs right here we're buying 15 eggs so that means the total cost price is 15 y now what else they told us they told us that the selling price is equal to the selling price is equal to the cost price selling price is equal to it's equal so since they are equal the selling price the total selling price you can write it down total selling price is equal to the total cost price total selling price is equal to the total cost price all right now since the total selling price is equal to the total cost price then what we know is that 12x is equal to 15y that's what we know 12x equal 15y but guess what if if we can buy 12 eggs right at, if we can sell 12 eggs for the cost of buy 15 eggs that means we make a profit so what is my profit the profit on one egg the profit on one egg what is the profit on one egg the profit on one egg is the profit is going to be if i buy an egg for much cost price y and i sell it for x then my profit is x minus y all right because i sell it dearer than or buy it so x minus y is my profit x minus y is my profit but guess what else i know now if this is my profit then i can find my percentage profit so my percentage profit percentage profit is going to be equal to percentage profit is profit divided by cost price so it's profit of x minus y divided by the cost price and the cost price is y so it's x minus y divided by y multiplied by 100 so that's the percentage profit x minus y divided by y multiplied by 100 but look at this right here we said that 12x is equal to 15y so if I were to substitute to make X the subject, right? Let's try to rewrite everything in terms of Y. All right, we want everything in terms of Y. So we divide through both sides right here by 12. If we divide both sides by 12 for this equation, you would notice that X is equal to 15Y x is 15y divided by 12 
Now, if x is 15y divided by 12, we can simplify that as a fraction and write it as 5y divided by 4. That is x. Now, if x is 5y divided by 4, then that means the new percentage profit, so our percentage profit is going to be equal to x minus y. So the percentage profit is now x minus y, but x is 5y over 4. So percentage profit is now 5y over 4 minus y divided by 4 multiplied by 100. But guess what? No. We know that y right here, using LCM, we know that we can rewrite minus y as 4y over 4. So 5y minus 4y is y. So this part going to work out to be y over y. 5y minus 4y is just y. So this is y over 4. And that's being divided by y. Don't know, this 100 should not, this 4 shouldn't be there, this should be y. So we have y over 4 divided by y times 100. Now y over 4 divided by y, that just works out to be 1 over 4. All right, if you don't believe it, let's work it out right here. y over 4 being divided by y, it's being divided by y. We know that you can rewrite that part as y over four times one over y. And then the y's will cancel because then you would get y over four y and then the y in the numerator cancel the y in the denominator. So this part is how we get the quarter. So we get a quarter times 100. And a quarter times 100 is 25. So this is 25%. So what this question is saying, therefore, is that find the gain percent. That means we can say that we gained, we gained 25% profit on each egg. We gain 25% profit on each egg. All right? Makes sense? That's it. Now, just to verify this, just for everyone to feel satisfied with this example, look at this now. Let's say, let us say we bought we bought an egg for $40. We bought an egg for $40. If you buy an egg for $40, all right? If we bought an egg for $40, one egg, that means 15 egg would cost 15 times 40. 15 times 40, which would be 600, all right? That's that. Now look at this. Let's say you now we sold the egg. Let us say we sold the egg for $50. If we sold the egg, we sold one egg for $50. We say we sold the egg for $50. That means 12 eggs is sold for, 12 eggs would be sold for 50 multiplied by 12, which is 600. So look at that. We sold 12 eggs for the cost price of 15 eggs. So what would have been our profit in this case? In this case, our profit would have been, profit is equal to our selling price minus our cost price and our selling price is $50 minus our cost price of 40, which would mean our profit is 
And then that would mean that our percentage profit or percentage profit would be equal to our profit that we actually made 10 divided by the cost price of 40. And then we multiply this by 100. So it would be 10 over 40. And then we multiply it by 100. And you would still end up get that your profit is 25%. So this is just an explanation with actual numbers that we verified around here with just letters. All right, so the percentage profit is 25%. This is how you do it when you don't get any numbers. But using actual numbers, we can clearly see that in our...